Oh, my cookies and welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I have a special episode. I'm not going to be cooking, but I am going to be doing some unboxing. So Hexclad in all their wisdom and glory have decided to send me some pots and pans to use. They sent me three boxes and I, and I'm just so excited. Let's just jump right in. I don't even know. Should we start with the biggest one? I'm so thrilled and so exciting. I know with Hexclad that apparently you need to season these up. So I'm going to be reading the instructions, putting them through the paces. Look at this big guy here. All right, here we go. We got a box inside a box. Oh, this one. Ooh, we got a couple boxes inside this box. All right, let's do one of these at a time. God, these boxes are crisp. Here we go. We got a 3.3 quart deep saute pan with a lid. It looks like a glass lid. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So nice. Look, it comes with a nice little bag. Look at this. This has to be the lid. Ooh, and a bag as well. In case you travel with them. Look at this lid. Ooh, baby. I like this. It's got heft to it. If you're in a fight and you had one of these, I wouldn't be worried. We got some solid rivets. See those rivets? Look at the bottom too. This is just phenomenal. Lid fits nice. Let's keep rolling here. This is box two. Here we go, another bag. So what's in this one? Oh, this is big. We got a 12 inch lid. Look at this. Even bigger, look at this. Came with some instructions. Hefty, you got the helping handle in case you don't have strong forearms. These are, these are nicely made. So if you look at this too, you'll notice that the upper rim is stainless steel and it's not the non-stick part. And I think that's because when you put the lid in with the lip, it'll rub and you don't want rubbing on the non-stick. Here's the size difference. I got a 12 inch here and this looks like a 10 inch. High side saute pan with lid. This is 3.3 quarts. Beautiful, beautiful pans. All right, let's keep going. And we got some instructions here too. This is easy. They got pictures. How to season your hex clad. So this is something that we'll get to eventually. Place on a medium low heat. Thinly coat the pan's interior with cooking oil. Any oil will do. I know from personal experience, the best oil to use is flaxseed oil. However, almost no one has flaxseed oil. It's expensive and it deteriorates pretty quickly, which is why you refrigerate it. I'm not going to be using flaxseed. I'm going to be using just canola. You rarely need to cook on high heat with hex clad. Low heat for eggs, medium low heat for general cooking, medium high heat for searing. Now this goes against how I was pretty much trained on cast iron and carbon steel pans. It was always like high heat, quick, but they're saying their pans are so good at holding on and conveying that heat that you don't need to really go up to high ever. Oven use is safe up to 500 degrees. That is music to my ears. Cause a lot of pans out there, you can't put them in the oven. Other pans, you can't put them in the oven too hot. Should we move on to box two? I wonder how many boxes are inside this box. This is a big box. Look at this. We got the fry pan set, 12 inch fry pan, some bags. Let's see what's in this box. There's one. Here's two. That's uh, the trifecta. Here's three. Look at this. We got a 12 inch, we got a 10 inch, and we got an eight inch. Now the eight inch and 12 inch are my go-tos. I love doing eggs in the eight inch. 12 inch, I can make a meal for the family. The 10 inch, I actually have started using more. I've been eating more eggs. I've kind of outgrown my eight inch here. That's nice. That is so cool how they get those little hexagon shapes in there. Supposedly you can use metal utensils. They've got similar heft to my all clad. I wonder, should I weigh them? This eight inch skillet weighs one pound, 10 ounces. This is my all clad, not non-stick. This is one pound, 13 ounces. So this is comparable. All right, so we got three fry pans. We got one more box to do, guys. Another big box here. Here we go. So this is the six piece cookware set. Oh boy. Eight inch lid. Nicely packaged. Not one thing has come dinged, scratched, or broken. That's how you package products. Another lid here. Guys, you see my kitchen. Now let's get to it. In the bag, you know it's gonna be a pot. Whoa, boom. Look at this. 
straight sides. It just looks magnificent. Very high quality here. No glitches, nothing. It's shiny right out of the box. I'm ruining it by putting my fingerprints on it. I should be wearing gloves. What am I thinking? We got another lid, this is a seven inch lid. A nice little fit. Got the little steam valve. What does the hex pattern do? Heat distribute or just fancy looks? So they have the non-stick part, which is just barely lower than the little steel parts and the little steel pegs are what give it that kind of hex clad pattern. So you will get the non-stick qualities because most of the stuff won't stick to the little steel dots, but then you get the durability because those little steel bumps are just a teeny bit higher. You're not gonna be scraping that non-stick coating with like your metal stuff. And because you get more steel, yes, that heat distribution and then holding on to that heat is fantastic. So typical pans, what they'll do is they'll do steel and then a layer of aluminum and then a layer of steel. Some cheaper pans, it'll kind of just do steel and then aluminum. I've had a lot of issues with non-clad pans that are aluminum. They're going for the non-stickness with the durability of a steel pan. That's sort of been what has evaded some non-stick companies for many years. So this is another step in the direction of getting the durability and getting the non-stick. We'll have to put it to the test. Look at this. This is a nice pot. I do a lot of pasta couscous rice in this house. And oftentimes, even just boiling pasta, it'll sink to the bottom and stick to my Le Creuset pots and pans. I'll dump out the water and I'll have a bunch of pasta stuck to the bottom and you try and scrape it off and it's just, or if you've ever done any frying, you know, like you dunk shrimp in batter and then you put it in the hot oil, sometimes it sinks all the way to the bottom. The worst thing is when it sinks to the bottom and sticks and it ruins it. So this will be nice to have a non-stick surface so stuff like that doesn't happen. I will be seasoning one or two of these up just so everyone can get a feel for it. All right, so you got the two-handed pot. This is probably the four quart, and this is probably a three quart. This is it. Thank you so much, Hexglad. <laughs> Give us a fried egg test. Watch it slip around the pan. All right, let's do it. This is a 10-inch skillet. Now, if you notice that on a lot of skillets, you see how the bottom is flat, and then you get a little bit of the sides. This comes out, and then the sides really angle up. So you lose a lot of that cooking surface. So by making the signs a little bit more vertical, they've expanded the cooking surface. So this actually looks like it might be a teeny bit more than an eight inch cook surface, which is fantastic. We're gonna get them wiped out, cleaned up with a little bit of soap. Soap and water, that's it. All right, this is 12 inch pan. I love the big surface area. I can see myself doing crepes with this. Now, if you are following the instructions, which I intend to be, activate your lifetime warranty. Yes, please. Thinly coat the pan's interior with cooking oil. How I like to do it is I use a very high quality paper towel. If you use a low quality paper towel, it might shred out part of the paper. So the instructions say, place on medium low heat, which is what I will do here for both of these. And I will add a teeny bit of oil here. I don't like heating pans up without anything in them. And then you thinly coat it and you leave on the heat for two to three minutes. So what I do is I just take the oil and I just brush it all over. This is a very thin coat. The paper towel will absorb a bunch, but then it will distribute the rest. So I might have added a little bit much here. Let's do the same thing over here. Now let's let it bake in and we're done. These are beautiful pans. These are beautiful pans. Technology has come so far. What a time to be alive. Let's get some eggs going. All right, let's do a single egg here, single egg. This is on low heat, or as low as my heat will go. I didn't put any oil in. The other thing is like, I wanna test like a lot of metal stuff, but because I haven't had sturdy Gnostic pans, I've been using a lot of wooden. Let's get a little salt on this. And this was oil, this is essentially oil free. Whoa. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Now oh, that is cool. <laughs> Got a little piece of egg pasta here. All right, let's flip it. I haven't flipped a single egg in a 12 inch pan in a long time. I didn't put any oil in here. I didn't put any spray. Oh man, look at this. You just wipe it and it's clean. Man, this is a lot of fun. I gotta season all these now. These are solid pans. PFAS free, all that jazz. 
I could stare at this all day. It's like a night sky. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Take care.